Hi, I'm Megan, and today I'm going to show you how to make paper beads for jewelry or whatever you want to put them on. So you're going to need some colored paper. Um, you're going to want something that you can get glue on. So I have just a white piece of paper, um, some Elmer's glue, a skewer, or something thin and round that you can roll something onto, and some scissors, a paintbrush that you can get glue on. You're going to wash it so it, it doesn't get rid of it, but just in case it does. Um, and that's all you need for paper beads. So to start out, you got to cut out some of your, some of the strips to make the beads. So if you want like a flat bead, it doesn't really have any pattern. I'm just going to try to go in a pretty straight line. You can use a ruler if you want them to be uh, more precise, but I kind of like them to look kind of organic. And then the other shape that you can make are these triangle ones. I'm going to just cut. So you don't want to make the bead the thicker, the longer you make this, the longer the bead is going to be, and then the longer the height is, is how thick it's going to be. So I like to make them, these are not going to make too thick of beads, but I don't like them to be too wide. So it's a pretty skinny little triangle that you're going to end up with. And then I put this piece of paper down so when I glue, I don't make a mess. I'm going to take some of my Elmer's glue and just put it on a plate somewhere. You don't need that much, probably just like a little more than a quarter to start out with. You can always add more. And then you're going to take a brush and just dip it in the glue and then you want to leave like like a fingers amount of paper with no glue on it and then just brush on some glue onto the rest of the piece of paper you want to start on if you're doing a triangle you want to start on the side that's not the point So that it will have the right shape when you roll it up. And then you're going to take your skewer or whatever you're using to roll the beads up. And you're going to want to take where there is no glue and start the bead. You don't put glue there or else it'll get, it'll get stuck or it can get stuck on your skewer. So you want to roll it as tightly as you can. Try to kind of stay up straight. Notice it starts to kind of get off center, you can just kind of like push it back in place. And then for the end, I like to just take a little bit more glue and just put it right where the end is going to go. And then you're just going to tuck it. You can hold it for a minute to make sure it's going to stay in place. And then you just slide it right off. And you have your bead. So then I can show a flatter looking bead. So this one is not going to have um, like a curve like this one does. This one has like the a little bit of like an arch. This one won't have that as much because it's not a triangle. 
But same thing, fingers distant or so, with no glue. This one doesn't matter which end you start with. as tightly as you can again. And then when you get to the end, you're going to put a little bit more glue there to make sure it'll actually stay for a few seconds until it stays on its own and doesn't try to pop off. I'm going to take it off, and that one is done as well. You can use different kinds of paper. So I brought in some magazine strips, and I made a strip out of wrapping paper. I'm going to start with the magazine one. So I did another triangle shape. So when you're doing this paper that has a different pattern on each side, you're going to want to put the glue on the side that doesn't have the pattern you want. So then this will show when I roll it up. So again, leave some space. I try not to put as much glue on paper that on thinner paper just because it can get kind of stuck and hard to get off of this here if you add too much. You can use scrapbooking paper too. I could add some fun colors or just regular white paper. I use construction paper for the first two beads. And these don't want to stick usually as much as the construction paper does. So you might have to add even more glue. And again. Hold it down a little while. And then pop it off. And then for this one's gonna be a little thicker because it's a longer piece. So we're gonna do the same thing. And again, you wanna use the side that doesn't have the colors that you wanna see on your bead. So I need too much glue again, just because you don't want it to get stuck on there since the paper is so thin. Well, <laughs> you pulled too tight, it'll rip, so... Okay, we can just make two with this one. It'll be a little thinner than I figured, but... Hold it there for a second. And then I'll just start with this one. The tape is there, the glue is pretty dry, so we don't have to worry about it getting stuck. I'm just gonna do a finger length and then add some more on there. Looks like it doesn't need any more extra glue. And then just slowly roll it off. So there's one of our wrapping paper ones. And then you can, once you have um, enough beads, you can add, you can make them into a bracelet or a necklace or whatever you want to put beads onto. I made a little necklace with some of mine. So you, you would just, um, put, like if I wanted to add some of these on there, I would just take my string and just put it through the holes. And you just add, just keep adding as many as you want. Um, and that's, that's all you need to do to make paper beads.